Hi, I'm Jess. Welcome to my channel. And today I want to talk about the book I chose for book of the month called The Writing Retreat by Julia Bartz. I've been really into thrillers and I actually looked at the books that were coming out in February and I put this on reserve at the library and then when it was a choice for book of the month I decided I got to do that one because a writing retreat thriller it just sounds like a good time I am kind of disappointed to be honest long story short <laughs> still I probably enjoy this more than maybe some people do but I I guess what I was expecting was that there were gonna be there was gonna be a writing retreat and it would be kind of like a locked room mystery but at this writing retreat um, someone was gonna die, maybe someone was killing people off. That's not really how it went. Right, so this book follows our main character, Alex, who is a writer and gets this once in a lifetime opportunity to go to a writing retreat. Um, one she thought she wouldn't get into because it was for under 30 something, <laughs> like it's for people under 30 years old. Um, Luckily, she has connections in the industry, but the catch is, is that her former best friend is also there, and there's a little bit of mystery and tension going on between her and her former friend, Ren. Um, yeah, I feel like that's what most of the tension was <laughs> for the first part of the book. But uh, so they so they meet these other writers at the retreat. It's a very small number five of them or so um, and the author Rosa is a little unconventional <laughs> with getting her writers to write see the thing is is that well the motivation is is that she's gonna help them write a full novel in one month in February <laughs> of all months too, the shortest month of the year and she's like you're gonna have to write 3,000 words a day um, we're gonna talk about your book. I have to approve of your your premise of your story, and uh, you're gonna get this huge deal. Like you're gonna get published, basically. So who would not want to do that? <laughs> it's an awesome opportunity, and you just think, you know, if you're a writer and you have a favorite author, and they're giving you this opportunity, you'd probably be very excited to talk. To your favorite author about your own story and get the opportunity to even be published is just a whole nother amazing thing so that's all cool um yeah you know the first part of the book i felt was i i think the big issue was the main characters repressed shamed her repression of her sexuality because I assume she's identifying as a straight woman and she has these occurrences that have happened with other women <laughs> or yeah I don't want to give it away but there is some shame or guilt associated with that and that kind of manifests itself in this house which has its own history and might be haunted i don't really think so i mean i don't know i don't feel like that was really the point of the story but throughout this book there were excerpts of what alex decides to write about her book about daphne this woman that lived in the house and honestly i didn't feel like it added to the story apparently it was supposed to it kind of came together at the end, but honestly, I was not really interested in Daphne or her story and those little snippets. I was like, eh, not into it. And then the last part of the book, it just went over the top. I, <laughs> I'm like, okay, I feel like I'm watching a, like a, a movie. It just got weird. And like, I, I don't know, I didn't mind it, I guess, but I also just felt like I wasn't terribly interested <laughs> either. I mean, I managed to finish the book, but 
I felt like this was an okay read, not one I would go out of my way to read. Like I, I thought it was going to be really great. Um, maybe I had high expectations and a vision of what I thought this book was going to be and it did not live up to that. Um, <laughs> that's all I got to say. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I usually like saying positive things about books, but I feel like this one just did not work for me. I guess this will be the end of the video. Um, I am reading other book of the months, usually the same sort of thriller thing if you want to check out uh, previous months, if you read those. Uh, and I will see you later. Because I can see you. Bye.